Hello my friends, welcome to Sigro the World of Miniatures. My name is Sven and today we will talk about three. Three very very beautiful miniatures that are new, that are from a German caster and um, yeah, let's have a closer look. So, we have the first miniature here. This one, this cool animal-like, Egyptish god-like miniature with a cool pose. See this jump over this stones? Ready for, for attack, ready for let the knife, the weapon coming down. This miniature is um, uh, from, the, from the, the Undead Kingdom. In German, because it's a German website first, you can, you can name it Untotes Königreich. Undead Kingdom translated. Uh, underneath this video, you have every link to the to the website, and you see the the total detail here on the miniature. This is totally totally awesome. You have uh, such great highlights in the face, on the stones, also on the base. I'm I'm totally hyped to paint this. You have um, these white dots here. This was my fault. So I, I glued it back, back on the miniature because the, the tail was broken and it's a very um, small place to glue it. And I glued it back on with uh, two glue stuff, like two types of glue, and this was a little bit wrong. But um, if you prime it, no one will see it. Okay. Maybe I will paint this one. Let's see, let's look to the to the other two miniatures. All right. We have the next one. This is a lizard man from the lizard yeah, lizard, lizard, human, lizard man is the correct word for this type of creature, for this type of of um, of uh, race. It's also so much detail. You have such a big amount of details, like on the on the shield. Let us see whether we can a little little bit um, move nearer to the to the miniature you see this shield this is so great i can imagine what i what i paint paints i will use probably the lizard have to be totally different to the to the to the mount to the dinosaur or something um yeah, it's a, it's a cool color scheme. You can also put some uh, some bone colors on the back of the dinosaur, because this lizard man's are normally using using not so high end stuff. You see a lot of bones, a lot of wood, a lot of leather, fibers, and everything. It's also a very very cool miniature. And I can't imagine how a whole army of these will look like. Cool. Okay, move on. So, and finally, we will come to this monster. And it looks like a Minotaurus or something from the from the mythology of uh, Greece, but but it's an Inferno dwarf. It's a little bit crazy, but I think the description of this one, it's, <laughs> it's more humor-like than ever, because it's not a dwarf, but <laughs> it's directly maybe coming from something special. You have so cool dwarf-like armor here on it. In the middle, there's a face on the armor plate. You have also so much runes on the left and right side, on the shoulder pad, and here on this armor side, you have runes. So this is uh, connections to the dwarf, I think. The details are also cool. You have uh, skulls here, human skulls. 
These are human skulls, so you see the size difference. Let us move further. Zoom in a little bit. See these skulls he have in his hand? On a on a line or on a something like leather. It's also a very possibility that I paint this beautiful bastard. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I have a color scheme also in my head, um, especially for for these areas here on the beard. A lot of accessoires these monster have. Ah, it's cool. Look at these eggs. It's more like coming from bones and not from everything else. Maybe more flesh-like. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. You have also a little arrow here on this it reminds me more like chaos so you have a small relationship where these monsters are coming from okay these are these are the three miniatures we have and probably i will paint one of these you can choose which one is cool which one have to be painted so this was our first review of three wonderful miniatures from 3d printing heaven thank you first for for these three brilliant miniatures thank you i have a very very cool contact for um for in this company and i will probably paint every miniature but today and for the next couple of days you can choose which miniature i should paint first i will will um honor this miniature with a painting video then of course because it was your decision and after this underneath this video please click on the link to the shop look to the miniatures he have okay and um yeah if you like this kind of videos um please give me a thumb up um of course it's it's not my mother tongue the english language but i hope that I hope that um, you can understand everything and um, the small German touch <laughs> is not so, so big. Okay, good. Have a nice day. Stay healthy and until next time. Bye.